So bog filters are so effective because they mimic a natural wetland. In other videos I've talked about the importance of the bacteria and to a lesser extent the plants. But another very important factor is the speed which the water travels through the bog filter. If you think about a wetland in nature, the water is moving through the system very slowly. This slow movement allows the bacteria, tiny organisms and plants the time needed to clean the water. So if we blast the water through the bog filter too quickly, we can dramatically reduce the effectiveness of the filter. I found it very difficult to come up with an exact formula to calculate how slowly the water should pass through the bog filter. It seems to me that the sweet spot, sweet spot is between 5 to 12 minutes. So what I mean by that is it should take 5 to 12 minutes for the water to pass right through the bog filter. Now the easiest way to regulate the flow is to put valves onto the inflow section. Uh, to demonstrate this, this is my little patio aquaponics system. So there are valves that allow me to regulate how much flow goes into the bog filter that's sitting there above the fish tank. The excess water is sent down along the piping where it returns to the tank. So this way I can allow a nice slow flow through the actual bog filter and the rest of the water is just directed back into the pond or the tank. So on an ornamental pond, that excess water can be diverted to surface or underwater jets. Uh, using the jets in conjunction with a skimmer will drastically reduce the amount of pond maintenance needed because it'll stop the debris sinking to the bottom of the pond. So talking about the debris, if the water moves too quickly through the bog filter, that solid material that gets sucked up by the pump will just get blasted up through the gravel, you know, and then it's going to return to the pond. But if it moves nice and slow, it's going to get trapped in the bog filter where the bacteria and the organisms are going to break it down. You know, and it will accumulate over time, but if we're designing you know, our bog filter well, like I've spoken about in the other videos, we can pump it out or flush it when we need to. I hope you found this helpful. If you have, I'd love it if you went ahead and subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.